A unique feature of our state is that slight differences in elevation, soil moisture, and soil composition can make a huge difference in the type of plants, animals, and insects that inhabit an area. The Enchanted Forest Sanctuary is a great example of the diversity that these features create. Part of Brevard County's Environmentally Endangered Lands Program, it was the first property purchased under this program that protects and preserves our county's environmentally sensitive land. The Enchanted Forest has several ecosystems all coexisting within a short distance of each other. We can think of these different ecosystems as communities. Just as we have our own different communities where we live, such as cities and regions that each have their different personalities and different people that inhabit them, so does the natural world. We'll take a walk through the Enchanted Forest and look at some of these different communities, what's unique to each of them, and why they're important to the overall ecology of our area. We'll begin our walk in the Hydric and Mesic Hammock communities. Why is it called a hammock? Hammock comes from the Native American word hamaka, land above water, and it means a cool and shady place. As we look around, it's easy to see why they called it that. Mesic and hydric hammocks have many plants in common and are often intermixed with each other. We'll start out on low ground in the hydric hammock. The hydric hammock has very moist soil and is poorly drained, so rainfall tends to accumulate. The hammock floor helps to reduce soil erosion during heavy rains by slowing down water runoff, which allows greater absorption into the soil. Air plants, like this southern needle leaf air plant and this shoestring fern, are common. Vines, such as the muscatine grape, are common and can form a dense cover. Live oaks and cabbage palms form the ceiling and create lots of shade. We're slightly higher in elevation now and we're in the mesic hammock. Mesic means it's moist and has normal moisture. It's neither wet nor dry. If you look down at the ground, you can see that the soil is sandy, but it's mixed with organic material and has a layer of leaf litter. Although this soil is well drained, the heavy shade and layer of litter help to keep the soil moist. This moist soil and shade make perfect conditions for ferns to flourish on the hammock floor. Migratory birds use hammocks for resting cover and foraging, and animals of neighboring wetland communities may take refuge in mesic hammock islands during floods. Looking up, the canopy has lots of live oaks and cabbage palms. The top branches of these trees form a natural ceiling that provides lots of shade and cover from the intense Florida sun. We can see lots of Spanish moss, air plants, and resurrection fern on the trees. Magnolia trees and pignut hickories are common in the mesic hammock, but won't be found in the hydric hammock due to the excessive soil moisture. We are now in oak scrub and are standing on the Atlantic Coastal Ridge, an ancient sand dune. We're at the highest elevation of our tour today, a mere 15 to 20 feet above the mesic hammock. The soil is almost all sand. There's very little organic material and it's very dry. Notice how the plants are all very short and scrubby. Plants here have adapted to the very nutrient poor soil and dry conditions. Fire, sparked by lightning, has historically played an important role in maintaining this community. Animals have learned to adapt to the fire conditions, and some plants rely on fire to spread and germinate their seeds for new growth. Oaks are the backbone of this community. They provide a food web for the residents here. They have a unique way to cope with this dry environment. Only 25% of a scrub oak is above ground. The rest is an underground system of branches that can look a lot like roots. This system enables it to maximize water uptake and sprout back after a fire. Notice how these sand live oak leaves are very leathery and curled under to conserve moisture. If oaks are the backbone of the scrub, then gopher tortoises are the landlords of the scrub. Many species use their long underground burrows to escape from the hot sun and for refuge from fires and predators. Their burrows provide nesting and feeding space for many species. This special place is critical to our quality of life here in Brevard County. These areas improve air quality by reducing carbon dioxide, water quality by reducing runoff and pollution, 
and provide critical habitat and haven for wildlife. The sanctuary is a place of beauty and calm for us humans to recharge and connect with a world outside ourselves. So I encourage you to come out and visit the Enchanted Forest. And when here, I challenge you to look closely at the plants and wildlife to see if you can see the differences in these communities.